Hello. So today's talk is on biochemical pregnancies. One of the most distressing of pregnancies that occur. It is almost getting there and not being there too, which means that you test a, a urine test that's positive and then a few days time it comes negative. And that significantly affects women who feel that they've just got there and it hasn't. The problem is it is very common. What we know is 27% of pregnancies tend to implant and then stop implanting even before a period comes. And that is almost never detected. Unless you start doing highly predictive kits before the start of your period, which in fact I would not recommend, mainly because it causes immense distress. So what is biochemical pregnancies? These are pregnancies which are, do not lead to a clinical pregnancies where they can be seen. Now, what? how do we diagnose it? The, the commonest thing is that a urine test comes positive and then comes negative. Now, you could also say that it is a blood level of HCG that is 100 or below, and also any level that crosses 5.5 of HCG is also called as a biochemical pregnancy. Now it commonly occurs and we see more of it in IVF, not because the incidence is more in IVF, but the incidence tends to be picked up because of the or because of doing more and more blood tests. Now, why would it occur? And that is a thing that is of big concern. One, it could occur because the embryo is genetically abnormal. And what we know is around half the embryos we humans produce, even at a young age, are genetically abnormal. Two, there could be a delayed implantation, and that has been known. Missing nature's implantation window in all studies has been told to reduce the rate of successful pregnancies. Third is the lining could not be ready or thin, and that also changes the, the chance of uh, of a, a very early biochemical pregnancy. The man's sperm has a high DNA fragmentation rate. That's also another cause for biochemical pregnancy. The question is that we often would not know. A proportion of biochemical pregnancies are ectopic pregnancies, which give a suboptimal rise and then disappear and spontaneously resolve. What is the hope? The hope is it gives you an idea that conception is occurring and the hope is that in IVF, subsequent IVF cycles, the results seem to be slightly better. Now, we don't know why that happens. Is there any way of stopping it? And the evidence then suggests that answer is no, you can't stop biochemical pregnancy to a large extent. Even genetically screened embryos tend to have a reasonably high chance of biochemical pregnancies, which do not reduce. So what is the solution? And I'll say one is do not lose hope in yourself. Continue to try and that may give you a better. Idea. We know that genetically screened embryos tend to have a lower biochemical pregnancy rate, but that is not the treatment. Using progesterone in nature also does not decrease the risk of biochemical pregnancies, though it may reduce the risk of recurrent miscarriage. But have hope in the system and that may give you a slightly better chance of pregnancy. Finally, there has been one study which suggests that having stress, acute stress, may also increase the chance of a biochemical pregnancy. And that is one of the reasons why I think if you can believe in your, the, the process and a belief that a pregnancy would occur, would help you to face a pregnancy in the future. Thank you very much.